course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. The most exciting thing ever happens here is the day when it don't rain. Excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. We've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Robin's here. 
going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Brink here, going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new series. This is The Dig, another classic LucasArts point and click adventure game and another one that I missed out on when I was growing up. Um, so we're finally going to get around to playing it. This is a completely blind playthrough. Uh, man, that was quite the intro, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting a cutscene um, right at the start of the game, but it was pretty cool and it set the scene quite nicely. Uh, one thing I did notice is there's no subtitles, so um, let's see if voice and text. Hopefully that will fix that. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's not on by default, but it wasn't. And yeah, I'm just really excited to play this. I've never played it before. I don't really know what to expect. Obviously, I know the, the backstory now. Um, I've also been told by the unlucky bard that I should have a piece of paper and a pen to hand just because apparently writing down some things is a good idea with this one because some of the puzzles are quite, quite difficult. Uh, but yeah, let's um, let's do it. Let's see what, what we've got here. So, Robins, um, Tool Chest, Brink, I'm not sure what this is. Can we click that? Oh, it's our invent. Okay, so we've got examine, pen ultimate, arming key, and a flashlight. So can we just press? Yeah, we can press I to get that. That's fine. Uh, let's look at the tool chest. It also, seems like we have a bit of a dream it's team going on. It's the pig. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. Right. How do we do that then? Um, Robbins, this is low. Ah. Robbins here. What is it? We can ask a question, say something profound, stop talking, or there's the flying pig. Can we? Low out. Oh, weird. So we can. Break. Come in, break. So we can switch. You low. What is it? We can switch characters. That's quite cool. I've never played one like that before. Okay. Low out. Uh, can we ask low, do you read? about the pig? Robin's here. What is it? See that big tool chest? We call it the pig. I've logged a hundred hours working with every tool in the pig, Commander Low. Okay. Fascinating. Low out. So it seems like we only it's control. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. So how do we use the remote arm? Do we have that in someone's invent or something? Load a brink. Come in, brink. Brink here. I read you. No, it doesn't look like we can do that. What do you think of our star reporter? Very unorthodox, bringing a reporter on a space mission. But she is very capable, and she writes interesting stories. Hmm. Okay. It's, um, yeah, it's not overly clear what to do, is it? Have you noticed anything unusual? No one has ever been this close to an asteroid before, Commander. I cannot possibly know what is usual or unusual. That's a, oh, well. a good point. So, is there anything else we can click on? We can come, like, all the way over here. Where's this remote arm thing that we've got to use? Oh, there was something about an asteroid over here. So we can go off screen, okay. Load a landing team. Let's go check out conditions on the surface. The weatherman called for clear skies, no wind, no rain, no air. Music's very atmospheric. Wow, okay. <laughs> We're just gonna fly down there like that, are we? That's interesting. Ooh, okay, so we've got quadrants. Quadrant one, 
quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Uh, that's very interesting, actually. Maybe we can do examine. Ah, so we can... That's how we look at things, then. We use the examine. Hmm. Is that what they're going to say? Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Same thing again. Right, okay. Can we go to the shuttle? I've got a feeling we've got to use this... Uh toolbox thing, the pig. I've got a feeling we're going to need that for something. That really was something. A place no human has ever touched. And our job is to blast the hell out of it. Let's move. Low out. This is really cool. I'm really loving the atmosphere of it so far. It feels different to a lot of the LucasArts games that I've played, but similar as well. Uh, so can we examine this? It's a free fall NASA tool chest containing this mission's equipment. It's affectionately known as the Flying Pig. Okay. I don't suppose we can, like, use the arming key or anything on it. I can't arm that. Right, so that's this obviously... This key is for the nuclear devices inside the pig. Right, so the nuclear devices to blow up the asteroid are in there then. What's this penultimate thing? Ooh! Okay. Asteroid lander, com. So it's like a little... What was it called? Like a little... Well, it's like a, an early... Not necessarily a mobile. I can't remember what they were called. Uh, can we call people? Load a break. Come in, break. Right, so that's how we communicate Three, with people. Oh, what is it? So what happens if we do that again? Do oh, okay, it just means we've done it. Very so when it goes blue, it means we've done it. Mission. But she is very capable, and she writes interesting stories. Okay, so... Happy to set foot on a new world, Brick? Attila is a very old world, Commander. It is merely new to us. Yeah, so I'm guessing that went blue for that reason. Oh, well. Right, so that's... I read you. Those are the choices we get when we speak to oh, him. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? What do you think of uh, Brink? What do you think of our archaeologist, Brink? I'm very impressed with his experience. He headed the U.S. Geological Survey team that mapped the surface of Venus. He'll be taking a close look at the asteroid to make certain the detonation points they've chosen are suitable. Hmm, okay. Can we ask her about the flying pig? I think we already did, didn't we? Everything okay with the pig? As far as I can see, Commander. So, should we... Oh, so that went blue as well, because we used that. Have you looked up at the Earth yet, Robbins? Oh, is that big blue thing the Earth? <laughs> Getting anything juicy for your first article? I'm not writing my article right now, Commander Lowe. Okay, fine. Stop oh, talking. Wow. Okay, interesting. So, we can't do anything over here. Uh, nothing over here either. So let's go to the asteroid. Hopefully the screen ratio looks okay on the recording as well. I've had to play around with it quite a lot because it launches in an old tiny little window similar to fate of atlantis uh it took me a, an episode or two to get it right on that one so hopefully it'll be okay can we land in any of these places then like if we go to quadrant one brink oh yeah that's his name <laughs> oh okay so we're here on quadrant one that's space that's space okay let's talk Quadrant seems adequate, Commander. 
Okay. Uh... Everything okay with the pig? Miles can tell you more than I can. Where is Miles? Or can we maybe call him on the little device oh, thing? Let's try it, actually. Where's Miles? Maggie... Miles. Load a payload, over. Yeah, 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 Boston, I'm on you. You, you wish. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> jinx. Um How's the pig? It looks kinda lonely out there all by itself, Boston. Okay. How's the congressional campaign going without you? Well, my opponent is demanding equal time and space. <laughs> right. Or without us. Just don't screw up the mission, Boston, and I'll be in Congress next January. Okay, let's say something profound. Well, before we do that, let's just oh, check well. the other quadrant, shall we? <laughs> Rather than just assuming that everything's fine, let's check the other quadrants. Because I don't want to say, yeah, it's all good, and then find out that there was something weird on one of the quadrants and we, we managed to, to get it wrong. I don't think there's game overs or dead ends in this game because it's a latter LucasArts point and click adventure game and they didn't tend to have them in as far as I know. Certainly all the ones that I've played didn't. Uh, quadrant 2. Target surface. It's where explosive alpha should be placed. Okay. So everything looks okay here. Let's go to quadrant... Well, we could go to four first, couldn't we, seeing as it's directly below us. And then we'll go to quadrant three. So is there a target thing here? No, there isn't. Maybe we have to place it at that other site first. And do it that way, perhaps? I don't know. Right, and we'll try quadrant three, and then we'll go back to get the pig. Probably seems like the best way to go about it. Yeah, the music is very, very atmospheric. Ooh, a boulder. Yeah, see, I'm glad we came to check this. What's this boulder? There's a big rock right where I need to plant the nuke. Ah, so we might have to move that out of the way then. It's worth coming down here, <clears throat> so we could check that out then. So we need to get rid of that big boulder somehow. So let's get back to the shuttle, so we can get the pig. Motor landing team. We're heading back to the shuttle. So can we just do P to pick this up? Doesn't seem like any of the old commands with like P for pick up and that work. It's the pig. I know Payload it's the pig. Specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. Okay, Miles, do you wanna do you wanna use it? Miles, this is low, do you read? Miles here. Uh can you do the pig thing? Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Uh, almost. Crew is clear. Proceed. Here we go. It's happening. Ah, uh, there's the arm, the remote arm. So what, we're just going to like drop massive nukes down towards it and then I guess to, like attach them to the points where we need to put them. Obviously it's not just going to like free fall drop is it because there's no gravity but Everything fine with the pig core? Looking sweet Boston. You just be good to my baby. All right. What do we do then? Just push it or 
I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Follow me. All right, we're going down to the surface. We'll be back soon, Cora. Try not to miss me too much. Low out. We. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, so where was the site here that we've got to to attach it to? Or is, is that where it goes? Ah! Ooh, what's this? Explosive unit alpha, explosive unit beta, zero G digger, shovel. Wow, there's some stuff here. Uh, let's pick it all up, I guess. So that's everything from the pig. Maybe we can use the shovel on the boulder. Maybe that's a thing. How do we get out of here? There we go. Asteroid. Okay, so we know there was one bit over here for Alpha, wasn't there? Over on Quadrant 2. It was around here somewhere. Where was it? There we go. Target surface. That was, I'm sure it was where we said we had to put alpha, wasn't it? It's where explosive alpha should be placed. Yeah, okay. Explosive unit alpha. The ground's too rough to attach the charge. Okay, so it's too rough. So can we use the shovel? Or... You can't dig with shovels here in low gravity. There's no easy way to get leverage. Right, okay, so maybe we need the zero G Besides, one. We've got the exact tool designed for this job. Yeah, we do, okay. We need the zero G digger. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Excellent. Right, so we should hopefully be able to attach that then to where we've dug shuttle this is low we're placing the explosive in quadrant two acknowledged could you give me a hand with this break i'll be right there commander low come on you can do it so explosive one is down or almost down or explosive alpha excellent Okay then, that seems like a good place to leave it for this first episode then. In the next one, we'll try and move that boulder out of the way and place explosive beta. Uh, but so far, so good. I'm really enjoying this. I'm loving the feel of it. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to when the puzzles get quite challenging because I like to, um, to really have to think about them sometimes. So it's going to be interesting to see what it's like when we properly get into the game. I'm guessing something's probably going to go wrong because I wouldn't imagine that this would just be the game that we place the explosives and that's it. So something's bound to go wrong. Not sure what's going to happen though. Um, and I'm excited to find out. But we'll do that in the next episode. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.